I love how in this country people hang their washing out to dry because it reminds me of Alabama when I used to do that and it, these are the like the only two places that I've done that. Um, I would never in a million years take a big king size bed sheet outside and put it on the line to dry and then sit there and blow on it. I mean I've never even considered doing that but yet when people ask these questions or when I ask these questions that's what people are like doing. It's the universe can answer your question for you. The universe is going to bring that energy to you. All you have to do is be the space. So if you hang your washing out to dry, you just assume that the sun and the breeze and the universe is going to dry your washing. I mean, mostly you just assume it. I know that you have to factor in the rain and whatever, because we live in England, but, but mostly you assume, don't you, that that's what's happening. So when I say, what would it take for all of that to show up, if you could just leave it there. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like you kind of take it outside of you and you've we've put it on a line and now we just kind of back away and we're like okay well the universe is going to sort that out for us now because it's not our job to answer the question but if you've been using your mind loads to figure out your problems and most of us do that because we love a challenge then it, it kind of starts your mind going, that question. And what if you could stop that? What if you could just be ambiguous and just be a space and be in a place of allowing and receiving and just leave your question out there? And you just kind of leave it alone and it's just there. So what space can we be that would allow all of the things that you would like to show up. What space can we be that would allow all of the things that you would like to show up? What space can we be that would allow all of the things that you would like to show up? So can you perceive a slight shift in the energy now? So it's almost like letting go of all of those desires and those wants and those needs. And it's like they've, for me, I perceive it as that energy, that longing has left me and I'm okay now. I feel really good within myself. I'm good. You know, I have ease in my body. I have more space. I have more peace in myself. And somewhere out there, the massive universe is putting together everything that I'm asking for. Can you perceive that energy at all? If you can't, let me know. I'm just asking. It's just a question. You know, can you perceive that energy? We're talking about the energy of the universe, or the energy of our intention, or of our statement, which you've left hand on the watching line. Yeah, it's, it's the energy of just having released that, okay. and just, you know, a knowing. For me, I get, I get a sort of, um, like a sense of peace washes over me. So if I'm in the longing of something, if I'm in the desiring or wanting or needing or requiring of something, that's actually not a very pleasant, yummy experience for me because I'm actually really super focused on and aware of how that's not happening right now because that's not what I'm experiencing. And I'm really focused on how I don't have that. So when I ask a question, what I'm really aware of is how I asked a question 
and it's like I'm taking all of that energy as if it was like a ball and putting it out there and then I know that it's out there somewhere but I can also see how the universe is dealing with it for me it's like a perception I just and from that I get <laughs> peace because now I'm okay I'm here right now in present time and I'm not experiencing that lack anymore because I have a knowingness that outside of me and it's just for me that it's kind of out here that I've placed it and I know that it's much bigger than that I get that the universe is much bigger than that but it's almost like that's where I've placed my order you know I've just taken it placed it there and now I can sit back and totally breathe totally be at ease and be totally at peace with what it is that I would like which puts me in a state of allowance with it as opposed to being in a place of resistance with it because if I have that energy here and I'm fully aware and I'm experiencing and my reality is that I don't have it then I'm actually in resistance to it there's no way I could have it even if it was like right here like touching my nose because my awareness and my reality is how I don't have it. Mm. Do you get that? Mm. Because as long as I'm saying I don't have it, as long as I know that I don't have it, as long as I'm believing I don't have it, as long as I'm buying I don't have it, I'm concreting how I don't have it. Because I'm a great, potent, powerful, intense, infinite being who's creating my own reality. So if I'm sitting here saying, I don't have money in the bank, I don't have money in the bank, I don't have money in the bank, I can't pay this bill, I can't buy this thing, I can't go to this event, I can't go to dinner here, I can't do this, do this or that, I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money. Can you perceive how that's getting heavier and heavier and heavier and you can buy into it. The more I say it, the more it's concreting, the more real it is, and the more I'm now not that space that I created when I took everything and put it over there. Because now I've put limitations on me. Now I've set barriers up, now I've set boundaries up, now I've set limitations up, now I've set fixed points of views up, now I've cemented something into my reality that literally feels like crap and I don't like it, and now I'm a victim. I've given my power away now, and I'm a victim, and I don't feel very good. So now I can say, okay, so what space can I be, and what space can we be that would allow all of this to change? What space can we be that would allow all of this to change? And as I continue to say it, just perceive the energy and how those fixed points of view start to move away from you. So what energy, space, and consciousness can we be that would allow all of this to change? What space can we be that would allow all of this to change? What space can we be that would allow us to live the life of our dreams? What space can we be that would allow us to live the life of our dreams? What space can we be that would allow us to live the life of our dreams? And what space can we be that would allow us to contribute to the dreams of everyone in this room? So can you perceive how by doing a question with contribution and involving everyone in this room, how the energy shifted even more? And so what space can we be that would allow us to gift and contribute to the dreams of everyone in this room? Mm -hmm. 